What's up guys, welcome back to another MCOC Alliance 4 and we are in tier 1 taking on Marvelous 1 uh, taking in the usual team and the first three nodes uh, left open so um, just move up, use my energy and then uh, wait a few hours to get some more energy so I can head to the left um, so my first fight uh, started off okay I bring in Ghost Rider and it is Hyperion um, uh, who I face I think it was on this this node in the last war but uh, gonna make a mistake here coming up uh, trying to bait out a second special and I just dash back just a, a little bit too early and he caught me with a combo right there um, then he fired off his his first special so I fire off my uh, power burn right here but it didn't trigger uh, should have just went to straight to third special because he did a heavy attack there try to finish the fight but no I uh, couldn't do it uh, you see I paused it there I was gonna see if I can possibly time out this to save a revive but I knew as soon as it timed back in uh, he was going to fire off the, the third special, so it would have been a waste of time. Bringing Captain America one hit, it was done. He only had uh, a little over 800 health left. So uh, next fight, um, going to use Captain America again. Uh, just going to keep using him until I see a science. So here we are. Uh, wasn't expecting this at all. But I do have to be careful. If I do get hit, then uh, it's going to trigger a bleed. Uh, I think the, his bleed lasts for like two seconds. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have my four star awakened. But uh, pretty straightforward fight. Nothing to really worry about. Um, except when he gets uh, down around 30%. Well, at 30%, he triggers a power gain so I mean obviously I don't know exactly where 30% is so have to try to guess be careful here uh, make sure that he doesn't have more than two bars of power uh, when I get there so he doesn't as you see he he gains a just under two bars of power so yeah if he has one bar of power then you're gonna get hit with the L3 if you don't bait out a special so able to get the parry there, uh, comboed uh, just to finish the fight. So coming up next we have a science on enhanced ability triggers and um, it is a spider-man. So start off uh, trying to get parries, uh, get a few hits in, parry a few hits and uh, that technique works out well at the beginning and then I stop getting parries so I have to just be careful with my strikes. Um, was expecting him to do his, uh, his first special, but he didn't. And uh, now I have to bait out the second, which is, uh, you know, I prefer evading the second, anyways. So up here at 50 hits and up to 30, and I figured just fire off this third special. This should finish the fight, and it does. So up next is the adaptive node and I usually face a magic or mortal here but uh, this time it is it's crossbones and seems like an easy fight but uh, what messes me up is the parry um, I, I prefer prefer um, fighting uh, what's the age of venom in, in this case because uh, when you do parry, you, you wait a, a, about a second to see if tenacity kicks in. If it doesn't, then uh, you can go in. But fighting him, he shrugs it off right away. You're going to see right here. And he fires that heavy. So, um, I mean, I, I could have dashed back, but it just caught me off guard. Uh, I didn't expect him to, to um, cancel out that parry. And I believe he does it again uh, a little bit later coming up. Um, but that was that was definitely costly. That was a huge heavy attack. A lot of damage taken off there. And then uh, coming up, I'm going to push him into a second special. 
Uh, you see we're in um, Outlast range and he's not firing off his first special. Try to bait it out. Uh, just giving him a tap, dashing in, tapping, and he's just not not using it. Um, so he went for a heavy there. Heavy there. He's just not using the special. So I ended up getting caught there. And of course now he wants to use the special. Didn't even have to bait it. Just yeah, he knew that it was going to make contact. So fire off my third special. And of course that's not going to do it. So I'm going to need to get an intercept. I, I can't take any more block hits. And just swing and miss. And I got him that time. So I got him rushing in. And got the, the bleed as well. And that's what finished off the fight. So next up. I um, only have uh, about... What is it like? One, let's see, 160. Yeah, 162 health left on Gwenpool. So of course I have to bring in my Captain America. Um, I was gonna try to time that, uh, see if I can get a hit as soon as the stun wore off, but I didn't want to bother with it. And fight's going pretty well. Um, See, he's close to getting that bar power, that uh, third special, and he fires off his second special, so happy about that. And you're going to see coming up right there, I should have evaded. I didn't realize that I had the uh, dexterity buff on me. Uh, if I would have known that, then I would have evaded. Uh, otherwise, I'd just block it like that, just because I know it's not going to do any damage. And um, coming up here... Um, I was going to go for a heavy attack, but I just didn't trust that he wasn't going to fire off his special. I, I felt like, uh, I mean, it's, it's very rare that he actually fires it off, but I felt like that was going to be one of the times that he actually does, so I just waited it out. I, I knew he wasn't going to get to his third special, so it didn't matter. And up next we have Nightcrawler, and he's not stun immune on this one. He's He is awakened, so it should be... Um, should be a bit easier to get him to switch stances, right? But it's not. Uh, he's really not backing up. I, I feel like Kabam changed him recently, changed his fighting style, because uh, until recently I, I used to just like walk all over Nightcrawler. Uh, he would dash back and block, and, and I would hit him a few times and um, get him to switch stances and it, it wasn't every fight but it was like 90 95 percent of the fights and uh, since one of the recent updates I just have not been able to get him to switch stances like maybe maybe 10 percent of the time now so it's it's been like a complete turnaround as far as getting him to switch stances so you end up have to fighting fight him the the long and, and hard way uh, just trying to be very careful that he doesn't evade and trying your best to push him to a second special instead of the first special. Um, but coming up here, what's going to end up happening is uh, he's going to change up just a little bit, do a little bit of hesitation on his heavy attack, and it's going to throw me off. So you see I'm back into the corner. Uh, I know he's going to evade, so I think it's right here. He paused just, just a split second longer. And yeah, if you didn't see that, that was a 15 or 10k crit uh, with the additional 3k damage, so 1300 damage on that one hit. It wasn't even the, the full, it was just the second half of the heavy attack. So I uh, used a team revive, brought in Ghost Rider, and I believe that I tried to get him to switch dances, yeah, but like I said, it, it's just not working anymore like it used to and um, able to finish it off without taking too much damage um, but it it does take a long time um, if you're looking at the time I mean it, it takes me a whole would have taken me a whole minute just to get 30 hits in, and that's because it, you have to, to fight so slow he does so much evading um, it's just so annoying. I'm tired of fighting him, to be honest. And speaking of which, coming up on the stun immune, and it is an unawakened Nightcrawler. Um, 
sorry I, I forgot to, to cut that part out and I don't feel like going back and doing it but uh, yes normally I cut out the load screens um, I am on Android and it takes a very long time so there you go he uh, evades in the first few seconds of the fight uh, take quite a bit of damage but I'm still alive still trying to uh, trying to get as much damage in as possible this is tier one so he does have a lot of health even though it's it's not the mini boss um, but he's stun immune and he has a certain percentage chance to inflict a stun from a combo but it doesn't matter as soon as, as, soon as he goes into a combo it, it's, it's pretty much over anyways but uh, coming up uh, you saw right there evade and then strike right away so bring in Captain America and it's the uh, same deal he's unawakened so it's even harder to get him to switch stances um, see he backed off uh, I thought about rushing in but I, I know how it's been already and with him being unawakened I have to do five hits to get him to switch stances anyways um, there's another evade and strike right away um, backed into a corner again and of course as you know you may have realized this fight does not go according to plan either. Um, I do end up getting out of a corner because I fire off my third special. That's basically what I'm waiting for, is just waiting for that to build up so I can get a little bit of space. But um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Coming up, he's going to evade and then uh, it's going to be over. There it is. Evades and pokes me with that sword. So bring in Gwenpool. Figure a little bit of ability accuracy reduction would come in handy for this fight anyways. And uh, for the most part it does work out. Um, I'm of course not able to get him to switch stances. He evades at the last possible time and uh, that was only a 10% reduction anyways. So pushing him up there up to 34%. Uh, it's a uh, evade right there up to 40 40 44 still evading of course so coming up there's 50 and this this is so annoying because of all things to worry about a uh, parry at 50 percent reduction i get parried and it's, it's not it wasn't even evade that they got me and uh, of course uh coming up here evade poke and fight's over. So, bring in Ghost Rider. Um, <laughs> like I said, I, I'm so tired of fighting this guy. And this is this is actually going to be my last fight of the uh, of the war. I spent enough, and I'm luckily I'm able to finish him off uh, with this. So coming up, I didn't even let him finish his heavy, just fired off my first special and that was it. Um, I was going to move on to the next fight to see who it was, see if I could do a little bit of damage but I was out of energy and my teammate got there first um, ended up being a juggernaut which I didn't even bother attempting because uh, we still had another uh, mini boss up so you wouldn't have been able to get the, the boss down anyways uh, they did get a boss kill and uh, that's what got them to the win there so we are in tier 2 for the final war of this map uh, I'll be play, uh, posting that here pretty shortly uh, but until then thanks for watching and take care